My name is Iman. Uh, hello, my name is Abdul. Hi, I'm Richard. Nice to meet you all. Um, and today we'll be interviewing uh, Rishan, which is, uh, he's a alumni from, uh, from previous years. Okay, uh, so let's start with the first question. Uh, so Rishan, what were some of your memorable and unique experiences as a member of um, the senior leader board? Wow. This, this is very long ago. <laughs> okay, so I think back when I was a senior leader, I think that was easily 2011 or 2012, yeah. So it's been a good eight years, nine years. And do you guys call it the senior leaders board now or you guys still call it black shirts and red shirts? Uh, black shirts is like a nickname for it, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's still, okay, I guess that's the more official name, like senior leaders board, right? Uh, well, I guess some of the more memorable experiences or the unique ones at least was really when we got to come together as um, a group and really kind of take charge in planning for a lot of the school activities. So I, I think the more memorable ones are like the camps. So we, as, as Black Shirts last time, we actually went for the Sec 2, Sec 3. I think we also had our own Sec 4 camp. I'm not sure we went for Sec 1. But yeah, it was just going camp after camp after camp to just help facilitate the juniors. And I think that all in all was a very fun process. Especially, you know, when you're a black shirt and then you have that certain um, experience and authority to guide your juniors in line, which I thought was very, very fulfilling. And I think the more unique one was, personally for me, was when I was a black shirt, I was put in charge of actually coordinating the, the student leaders investiture. Not sure if you guys still have that nowadays. So as a black shirt back then, I was the main, if I remember correctly, I was the main in charge for coordinating the student leaders investiture together with all the other student leaders, which was quite a daunting task, but I think it turned out to be quite fun and really taught me a lot of um, skills along the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so for the next question, uh, how did SLB shape your life and help to prepare you for the future? Um, okay, so SLB, I think you guys know Senior Leaders Board, right? You guys are, I mean, you guys are junior leaders now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so potentially you guys might actually have this opportunity to go up and join the Senior Leaders Board. Lah. And I think even at junior, le junior leader level, you start to realize that you actually have to make a lot of, um, of your own decisions. You need to take charge of your own decisions, your calls, um, and in a sense, take ownership of your work as well. So through, through SLB and its various experiences uh, that it, it taught me a lot on, um, how do I put it? It taught me a lot on stakeholder management. So I think stakeholder management is a term that is thrown around quite often when you go to uni and you start working eventually. It's basically just managing your peers and managing your superiors and also managing uh, your subordinates. Lah. So in that sense, that is stakeholder management. It really taught me a lot on that. Um, how do you, in a sense, adapt, be adaptable to the various changing situations, the kind of challenges that you face, uh, be it at school, be it in life, or be it in the workplace, be it in your personal relationships. These are all the things that SLB actually kind of taught me. So I think one of the key things that I think we all should learn is that when you are dealing with somebody of um, authority, for example, you guys have to deal with your teachers in charge. You guys have to deal with, I don't know, is Mr. Maran still there? Yeah, he's still, he's, still, he's, still. he's still here, right? Yeah. So I, I guess if you guys have to deal with Mr. Maran, you know, this kind of figures of, of authority. Um, oftentimes, we always feel like we are afraid of authority. Um, but I think you need to look deeper and realize that when you are dealing with people like this, you shouldn't be afraid, but you should respect the authority. But also take charge of your own decisions and take ownership and pride in what you do. Yeah. All right, so the next question is, do you still keep in touch with your, uh, your other SLB alumni? Ooh, uh, I think I don't really keep in touch with like the SLB um, people as a group because I think that group never really stuck together. Yes, we were close, but it just didn't form like a clique uh, that led on to JC and after on because everybody kind of went their separate ways. Uh, however, I'm still in touch with one or two people that were from SLB, just that we don't really talk about like SLB days. Like, we don't reminisce on that because that isn't 
in a sense, the main kind of activity that sticks out together. But I'm very certain that through all the experiences that you that you have in SLB and the kind of friendships and camaraderie that you make, that any if if right now I, I was to go and text any of them, they would still be oh yeah, hey, hi, how are you? That kind of thing, like very bro kind of thing. And they won't really, they will never forget the times that we had together. Lah. Yeah. Uh, what words of encouragement or words of advice do you have for Victorians today? Uh, what words of encouragement? Uh, well, for one, don't do stupid things. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think one key thing is to be consistent. Um, I know VS is a very last minute kind of work environment. Like you, you play very hard, then you study very hard at the last minute. I've been there, I've been there, yeah. I always play very, 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 and after when like one, two weeks before I study. So that 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 looking back is not the best thing. You so you should always aim to be consistent, you know, you just have constant revision. This this just pertains to school. La. At least have constant revision. Um keep up with your classes, you know, like actually listen in class. We realize that when you listen in class, you don't actually have to study that much. So I guess that's advice pertaining to school, I guess. Uh, advice pertaining to life. Uh, yeah, try not to do stupid things. <laughs> yeah, um, be sensible in the decisions that you make because you never know what kind of, um, what kind of decisions can impact your future, and how far reaching this these decisions these decisions can actually be. And sometimes when you look back, you don't want to regret that. Oh, I should have made this decision when I was younger. You know, try to be smart about the choices that you take right now. Yeah, and I think the last thing is that be grateful. Uh, be grateful to the teachers and the friends that are around you right now. Uh, really kind of cherish their presence and take as much as you can to learn from them. Um, I think personally for myself, I'm still in contact with quite a lot of my BS teachers and I'm really, really grateful for them, for all the guidance they have given me. Um, and that has, re that has really, really helped me to go into, to kind of mold me and shape me as to who I am today. Lah. So, and I, of course for the friends as well. So kind of be grateful to the people around you. Don't take them for granted and really try to learn as much as you can from them. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rishwin. So now we have come to the end of this interview. So thank you for your insights and for sharing your uh, experiences on SLB. Mm. No worries. Thank you.